English. So in the last few videos of post method, we have seen that how to call a post method through different ways. Like we have called uh, post method through an object. We have created a Java object and we have called the post method. We have created a JSON file and then we have created this post method. We have created a JSON object and then we have called the post method. And we have even received the data, you know, in a object format and we have tried to assert that. Okay. Now in this video, I will tell you how to call the JSON method on the basis of a string. Yes, a plain string which we can give in a JSON format and we will try to uh, go ahead and call our JSON. So let me do one thing. Let me just go ahead any one of the them which we have written before. If you want, you can just look into my previous video to get more details regarding that. I'm just trying to tell you what are the different ways through which we can call the uh, JSON method. Okay, so just re let me remove this file into stream. I don't need that and Let me remove this body also Okay, I don't need that. So this is a simple and plain uh, Formatting of given and then so I am first uh, call the rest a shot. I have Updated with the base URI so that is correct and under given I have given the header and Under that I have given a body. So let me tell you what we need to give in body then I am calling a when method and here I am calling a post method where I am giving the URL for post which is this and then I am calling the status code if it's correct or not and then I am just printing it everything here. Let me do one thing. Let me just store this response somewhere. Okay, so I will say it responds. Just uh, give me a moment. It's just freezing up. Okay. So what we will do, we will first store this response. Okay. All right. Okay. Still, it's not coming up. All right. Uh, let's wait. All right, so I have given the response here response response equal to and then there's a body and then dot log dot all So I have not given anything in the body. Let me just you know Give a double quote a blank body and in the end instead of doing dot log dot all After that I want to extract the response. So I will say extract dot response Okay, so that will extract my response also, which I can assert on later on. All right, now what I need to give in body because there is no object, there is no file, and there is no JSON object also, not even Java object. So, how do I give this body? So, what we do now, whatever body I have given here, okay, you can see a body is here, or in our JSON file also we have a body. What I will do, I will just do a copy of this, control C, okay. And then I will go here and under the blank body, I will do control V. Okay. All right. So, okay. So once I did that, what it happens that it has automatically given a plus and it has given a, you know, a slash here. Okay. So it has automatically created a body for me. I can go ahead and run that. All right. In case if this plus and if this double equal to is not coming up for you, then what you have to do? Because I have copied from here, right? So let me just remove this. Okay. So let's assume that, you know, it's somewhere in the file, right? Okay. So let me just uh, copy from this. Okay. So let's say it is, you know, somewhere in the file. And now what you have to do you are copying in the body okay so see now no symbols have come so you don't have to worry you have to do the same exactly thing what happened right now okay so wherever it has given double code just put a, a backslash here just before a double quotes all right just do it carefully like this like this and like this and like this okay now we have to give everything into the string and we need to concatenate it so i will give that curly brace into the string 
then a plus symbol okay i will also you know concatenate it with the string so i will give everything in the string and then a plus symbol and same thing here also double quotes star in the in the beginning double quotes at the end and plus symbol okay then again double quote here double quotes in the end and plus symbol all right and for this curly brace also double quote and double quote i don't need to give plus symbol it's not required all right so i have given a body in this way also now if you let me make it 301 okay so i am giving a constant number here if you want you can even you know use our random number which i have shown you in the previous video and you can get a random number so this is the way it should get my response all right and uh, okay let's run this run this test ng test so now we are expecting 301 is created so yes 301 is created successfully if you see here and if you go here into the post you will see at the end 301 is created okay now what next so see what happened right now our response is uh, you know it's uh, very clear right we can see that uh, if we go here if you see the response it's very clear if I just you know try to see the response which I get for 301 it says ID title and author so it's you know we can easily assert that out also through different ways which I have told you before okay but it might possible sometime the response we get is very complex sometime you don't get just three keys in three value it might possible you get one key inside that there are three keys and then there are three more keys so that's like a hierarchy of the keys and values okay so how will you assert that how will you assert an id or a title in that kind of scenario so what we do in those kinds of scenario so let me go here okay so whatever response we have got here okay so this is the response which we are getting so whatever we response we got here we convert that into json path all right yes the json path is a class and it help us to convert the response into json path and if you want if we are receiving an xml response we can convert that into the xml path also so right now we will see how to convert that into json path so for that you have to type json path js equal to new json path all right and under that you have to give your response which you have received and you have to convert that into string all right so i have convert the response in my string and i have given under json path i will do control shift o so that it get okay so p should be capital in json path let me make that So, okay JSON path all right so now I have created a JSON path now how this JSON path will help me I can create an X path of my own okay so maybe instead of name JSON I can give JSON X path so it will more clear okay I can create JS X path of my own so if I just want to print it I can just do system dot out dot print ln all right and here I want to give js js xpath okay and then get so what I need to give here see now in this js xpath or the json path I can give the X path to traverse okay so right now it is only ID and title and author but if there are more hierarchy under that like under ID also there are three IDs right or their title also there are three titles or three author name given or something else given so I will just give title dot and then I will give the variable in the second hierarchy so I have to create the X path so right now I can directly give just the ID if I want to print that okay 
All right, so it seems we have selected some wrong print LN. Okay, so let me just copy this and let me write it again. So it would be system dot out dot print LN. And now let me type this, save it. Print LN. What is happening? It's ambiguous. Okay, so why it's taking not string? So this is what I want, right? So let me print a string. ID is okay. All right. So now let's go ahead. So it's three zero one, and this time I want three zero two. Okay, and let's see. What is the ID which we get at the end? Okay, see so why I have shown you this JSON part? Because through which I can create my own XML part, which is very important when you're asserting different things and when the hierarchy is complex. Most of the time, the APIs give a very complex hierarchy, so you can use this JSON part. All right, so let's do right click, run as, run test ng test. Okay, and if we see here, see, it has successfully find the ID. Now, if I want, I can assert that also onto this. All right, and if you see here, 302. All right, so we got the 302 ID here. All right, so I think that's it uh, from my side for this video. Uh, I think I was able to help you to clear your all the doubts for the post method and we have used various things. We have used Java object, we have used JSON file, we have used JSON object, we have used string and we have also received the response in one object and we have tried to assert that. Okay, so in the next video I will tell you how to do things on put and delete and how to you know delete the data once i receive the data from post so if we are doing some end to end we can see that also in the next video so stay tuned thank you for watching